Hi, I'm Jessica Taylor from inkitupwithjessica.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make an easy easel card. This is a type of fun fold that is easy to make and also fun to display your cards. It props up on something on the inside of your card so that you can put it on display. I have my inside piece towards the bottom, but you could put it more towards the middle of the inside if you wanted your card to be propped up even more. I think this type of card would be really cute with a picture on the front, maybe for a baby card or a Christmas card with your family photo. For your card base, you want to start with a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of cardstock. So I'm gonna take an eight and a half by 11 sheet, turn it and cut it um, the long way so that it will be at four and a quarter. And then I'll have two card bases that I could use for easel cards. So once I have that cut to four and a quarter by 11, I'm gonna score it at two and three quarter inches. And then at five and a half inches. If you don't like measurements, you could just fold this in half and then fold it in half again. For the front of my card, I've just cut a piece of pattern paper that will fit perfectly in this little panel down here. And this piece is two and a half inches by four inches. So I'm just gonna put some adhesive on that so that I can tape it to the front of my card base. Again, I'm just gonna center it in that lower portion. And then what you wanna make sure for the front of your card is that this main piece here, when you tape it down, you only wanna tape it down to that bottom. So the piece underneath the score line, and don't put any adhesive up here because you want it to be able to prop open. For this piece here, the white piece is three and a quarter inches by three and a half inches. And then the magenta madness mat behind it is three and a half inches by three and three quarter inches. Now you can cut squares or rectangles like this, or you can use other shapes as well. For this video, I am going to use a circle. So I just cut a circle and then a scallop circle using my layering circle dies, stamped the strawberries on it, just like I did on this card. And I do show in another video some tips for stamping your strawberries. So I'll, I'll link that here for you if you need some stamping tips. But for when you're taping this onto the front, there's two ways you can do it. You can either use Stampin' Dimensionals, so you can carefully place them on that bottom fold, or you can use um, regular adhesive like this. So here's my tip. You want to place your adhesive on the bottom of the shape that you're taping on top, whether it's a circle or a rectangle, so don't go too far up. And then I'm also going to add some tape right at the fold line here. So I don't wanna to go too far, because I don't wanna go outside my circle. But that's gonna keep it right at the fold line. And then I'll just layer that on where I want it. And there, I did it. So I didn't put tape where I didn't need it. All right, then on the inside is where you need to make sure that you have a little something to hold it in place when it's folded up into an easel. I like to put a piece of four inches by five and a quarter inch piece of cardstock on the inside of my cards because it makes it easier to write on, especially when you're using a darker cardstock. And then I just have a strip of one inch by four inch pattern paper that matches the paper I used on the front of my card. If you want more of a lip here, if you don't wanna put anything popped up on the inside like I did with this flower, if you add an extra layer of cardstock here, that will help give more of a ledge to kind of hold that on. So I showed how you could put it way at the bottom here. You can also put it more towards the middle. And that way, you know, you could write a little message up here, write a little message down here. Okay, and then that's gonna prop up more. So you might even wanna stamp your greeting down here and then do your writing up top here. Now, you can either have it hold on this, but because this paper is so thin, it's not a great ledge. I'm gonna go ahead and put three little flowers that I stamped in Magenta Madness, and I punched these out with the Strawberry Builder Punch. I'm gonna put dimensionals on the back. This is gonna give them that little extra lift to really hold the propped up piece in place. And then you can place these wherever you want. Okay. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the middle of this piece, I think. And for this one, I'm kind of trying to make this a flat wedge so that it's really something to catch on. So you could do something like that. And then your easel card will prop right up on those popped up flowers. So how cute is that? I hope that you'll give an easy easel card a try. Happy stamping.